everyone, welcome back to my channel and hello anyone that is new. My name is Ellis, I am a mum of two boys and today I am coming back to you all with another haul. You asked for it, I'm giving it to you. I put a poll out asking which video you would prefer to go up this evening and you said that you would like to see my B&M haul. So that's what I'm filming for you and that's what I'm going to give you. So to be quite frank, the majority of these items, as always, are cleaning related. But there are some other bits in there too, so I'm going to jump straight in and show you what I've got. So if you want to see this, just keep watching. Okay, so I'm just going to go dig in straight in. I actually picked up some right bargains, so I'm really um, excited to share some of these with you. So the first thing that I picked up were baby related things, and they were these pots. They are the Newbie First Solids 4 month pots like this. Um, now, if any of you have seen my Instagram, I do a lot of Instagram stories and things like that. Um, I have been saying how Parker has been a right trouble when it comes to weaning. So I have kind of had to bring it all the way back to basics. And at first he hated my purees, but now he started eating. The only thing that he was eating was Ella's Kitchen, but now we started eating again. So now I've been going back to the Ella's Kitchen cookbooks and I've been cooking all the purees. So now I need some more storage pots. Um, so I picked up those. Those are really cheap. Um, let me just have a look. They were £1.99 for six packs, which I thought were really good. They were dishwasher and microwavable safe, so I thought they were great. Okay, so I'm going to get the boring stuff out of the way with, because that seems to be what's in this bag. So the next thing that I picked up were some food items. Um, I just wanted to pick up some pasta and some things like that. So I got some really, really good bargains. So the first thing that I picked up were two bags of Fusilli pasta. Um, they're just your basic bags, but I was really surprised. They were 49p. Um, that's a lot cheaper than the supermarkets. Even when I go to Aldi, I don't think they're that cheap. So two bags of pasta for 49 pence. I also then picked up some pasta sauces because I wanted some in my cupboard. And again, these oven pride sauces, when I find them, or home pride sauces, when I find them an offer, are normally only a pound on their very best offer. So these are the creamy tomato and herb. These are the ones that I find cook really well. These are just for if I fancy a day when I want to cook food and I'm craving a takeaway or something a little bit naughtier. Um, just so I can have this, it'll save us money. And these were 89 pence. So again, I picked up two. Um, 89 pence. I mean, that's just ridiculous. So going back to the whole weaning thing, I then picked up this. It's a microwavable saucepan. I really like the idea of this. I think it's great. Um, it basically, it's gonna help me cook Parker's food and steam it and pop it in the microwave. Um, I was looking for one of these, but again, this was reduced down to a pound. Um, one pound, so it says it's a great way to heat food quickly and easily and for steamed vegetables, which is obviously the main reason why I wanted it. So again, I'm really happy that I've got that. That's gonna save me a lot of time of like cooking stuff on the hob now as well, which is fab. And the last kind of homey, outdoory thing I got before I move on to cleaning products is this. Now this is a Mason and Jones solar powered two in one wall light with a sensor. It's stainless steel, no wiring required, and it just comes with a rechargeable battery. And it looks like this. Now, I have um, lights on the front and the back of the house. However, we don't have one down our drive and of an evening when it's dark. Our drive can get really dark. So when you want to go out and do the bins and things like that, it's really, really dark. So I figured we could just pop this up. This was 5 99 So again, a lot cheaper than Home Base and Argos and places like that. Um, and I thought, hopefully it's bright white so it will go with all the other lights and hopefully it will do a good job. Okay, so now I'm onto the good stuff. Now I'm onto the cleaning products. So I'm just gonna go diving right in and show you what I've got. So the first thing that I have is this, it's the Finish Dishwasher Cleaner in Lemon Sparkle. I haven't done um, a clean of my dishwasher um, since we've moved into the house, so that's really bad. Um, so that's been, God, what has that been like? October, November, December, January, February, March, April. Oh, almost eight months. And I normally do one, one a month. But because my dishwasher is really clean and new and we haven't been using it nowhere near as much as we used to, um, plus we've been washing a lot of stuff, like pre-washing a lot of pans and things like that, I haven't found that I needed to. I haven't got to the point where my dishwasher's smelly or anything like that. Um, so I picked up these. Um, I just figured that I would pop this in a wash and get my dishwasher nice and clean. And this was really cheap as well. This was like one pound something. Yeah, this was £1.49, so I thought for £1.49, it's great. The next thing I picked up were these Detto wipes. I love this scent. It is the pomegranate and lime splash. I love the lemon ones, but I love this scent too. So I picked up these, um, just your basic wipes. I then picked up this. Now this is new in and it smells amazing. It's a new one. It's the Comfort Tube Rose and Vanilla Flower scent. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. 
um i picked it up and i was going in there to pick up one of my old favorites which is the i want to say sugar lily or something like that um oh this is just to die for and what i love about these is they're only two pounds i do have um, a lot of the perfume ones at the moment um but to be honest i love these just as much and because i use quite a bit of softener when i do my washes i thought this would be fab 33 washes it's pink which is fab and i love it so if you guys saw my um declutter of under my kitchen sink and my organization you would know that i had a whole container full of zofloras and i promised myself that i wouldn't pick any more up However, I went into B&M today and they had two brand new limited edition scents in. Um, so I just had to pick them up. They had this one, which is the Honeysuckle and Jasmine scent. Oh my goodness, it smells amazing. Um, when I saw it, I was like, oh, this looks interesting. Um, but it was a brand new limited edition scent. It reminds me of like... A perfume I don't know I don't know how to describe it um I don't know it's really lovely though honeysuckle and jasmine so I'm definitely going to be using that um and then I also picked up another one again this is a limited edition and I haven't tried this one before I feel like I've seen it before but I've never tried it um and it was the pink grapefruit scent now this one is good it is really refreshing it smells lovely it smells exactly like pink grapefruit um they were both limited edition scents um so i picked this one up as well and it's fab i really love it um they were both a pound each so again cheaper than your normal supermarkets and stuff like that so i'm really happy that i picked up those then i know i've probably got enough of these but i picked up some new microfiber cloths um, they were £1.49 and they're a bathroom cleaning system cloth and basically you use them wet for cleaning and dry for polishing. They were pink and grey which I think was one of the things that drew them to me because they're like two of my favourite colours. Um, and they can be used for bathtubs, showers, taps, basins. And I just thought I saw these in there the other day and I wasn't going to pick them up because I had enough cloths. Um, but then I decided I was going to pick them up anyway. Um, so <laughs> I picked these up and I love them so I'm going to start using them around the home. The next thing I picked up was some more refillable pencil lighters. Um, my one is running out from obviously lighting all my candles. I needed some more. These were £2.99 each. So it was just like me going to Poundland and picking up one for a pound. Apart from there were three. So I've got spares now. And I love the look of these. They're a lot sleeker than the kind of ones that have the big handle. So yeah, I mean, they have a child resistant safety lock, which is one of the key things that I love about these lighters. Um, so the boys can't figure out how to use them. But some of those to my candles. I then picked up this, which is a finish freshener. It freshens your machine and it gives you scent control. Now, I saw this on somebody else's YouTube channel. Um, and as much as my dishwasher doesn't smell, I just love the idea of being able to freshen things up. And I never knew that dishwasher ones, ugh, dishwasher ones existed. I've used things like this for the fridge all the time. But for the dishwasher, I mean, it just sounds amazing. You put it in, it's lemon and lime scent and it says up to 60 washes with a regular usage. That could last me two months, so I think it was like one pound 49. So for that cheap, I mean, you can't really go wrong. Then as you probably can tell, my hair is nice and blonde and I needed some more dry shampoo. And I thought instead of going for the normal Batiste one, I would try this. So it's the Provoke Pref, ugh, Provoke Professional Hair Care. I've used their um, purple shampoos before. This is a touch of silver for blonde, platinum or white hair and it's a revitalizing dry shampoo. Um, very basic, not much to it, but dry shampoo. It was only one pound, I think it was. It was a lot cheaper than the Batiste for the same size, hence why I decided to go for that one. So the next thing that I picked up, I haven't actually used in years. I used it quite a bit in my old, old house, but I thought that I would give it a go after seeing it again um, back on my friend's YouTube channel. Um, she was using it and I thought, actually, I'm going to give this another go and try it on my new carpets. So basically, my new carpets have flattened quite a bit on the stairs and in some areas of my living room. So it's this. It's the Vanish Carpet Care. It's for large areas, hallways, rugs and upholstery. Um, it helps with dirt and pet hair and high traffic. It's a high traffic foam. And basically, you pop it on and basically it helps re-lift the piles in your carpet. I don't know if that makes any sense. Plus it gives them a good clean. Now my issue with my stairs is that Clayton literally comes down them on his bum like boom, 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 boom. Um, so I need to give them a good clean and you can use it on upholstery and rugs as well. It does say leave for two hours or until dry. 
which I don't recall doing before. So I'm gonna give it a go and see how it goes. Um, but yeah, that was down from 4 99 down to 3 99 So it's a massive, massive cam. So I picked that up. And to go with cleaning my carpets, I also picked up this. It's just a little scrubby brush. Um, it was one pound, and I just thought I would use this to help buff up my carpets a little bit. Um, just a basic brush, nothing to it, but it does match my dust pan and brush. And the very last thing that I picked up with these, they are air scents in a clean linen scent. They are scented gems, and I have never used these before, but they look really, really cool. Um, they're like little beady gems. They remind me of like the sort of material that you would find for um, like a, a, a washing tablet for your washing machine. Um, but literally, you just pop it off and it lets out a scent. It says, uh, da -da -da, do not allow the gel bees to touch anything as it can damage. Twist the cap, discard foil, replace cap tightly, keep upright at all times. I don't know whether... They start dissolving away when the air gets to them or how they work. Um, they're infused with essential oils and I got these in the clean linen scent. They had a cherry scent and some other scents as well. But I thought these were really, really lovely. So I picked these up and hopefully they'll make my little ensuite toilet smell amazing. And if they do, then I'm going to get some for some other bathrooms too. So guys, they are all the items that I picked up from B&M. I know you guys wanted a B&M haul. I haven't got much home decor stuff here at the moment, but I'm trying to be good with my money at the moment and only buy what I need. Um, obviously, I've bought quite a lot of cleaning products as per usual and probably didn't need them all. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And please don't forget to let me know below what videos you would like to see next. I have a lot of cleaning videos coming up soon. Um, so I'm really, really excited to share those all with you. So if you do have any other suggestions, like I said, leave them in the comments below. But I will see you all again for another video shortly. Bye, guys.